Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about bolters because it appears in the upcoming White Dwarf they are changing the rules when it comes to bolters and space marines and chaos space marines may I add as well. So let's jump in and let's get started. So this image you're seeing in the background now is from the February White Dwarf. You can just see February 2019 white dwarf page 21 at the bottom right of the image it is cut off a little bit but you can just make out where it says white dwarf february 2019 so this is the new blurb of information that we have for the bolter discipline it is a beta rule at the moment it's not fully implemented maybe they're going to change it a little bit more but this is probably just a test phase to start testing it and probably give gw some feedback now the image is decent enough whoever's took this image thank you i don't know where it came from i got sent it to me in my inbox i'll read it out and i'll put some of the text on the screen and stuff just in case uh, you can't understand it or anything like that so the first section is beta rule and it says bolter discipline and it says the bolter is far more than a weapon to the space marines it is an instrument of vengeance and retribution that brings swift death to their enemies in the steady hands of such superhuman warriors bolters are truly daunting weapons to behold and the next blurb of text says all adeptus astartes and heretic astartes models gain this ability now i think maybe this is in preparation for the chaos release which is rumored to be coming in march hashtag march of chaos is one of the hashtags that have floating around we, we, we've been shouting on stream and stuff but again that's all just rumor at the moment so it says all adeptus astartes and heretic astartes models gain this ability instead of following the normal rules for rapid fire weapons rapid fire bolt weapons used by models with this ability make double the number of attacks if any of the following apply so firing the model's target within half of the weapon's maximum range the firing model remains stationary during its previous movement phase the firing model is a terminator biker centurion or vehicle and moving on to the next set of text now this gets a bit confusing because um the way the the images have been took the flash has like um whited out some of the text so it says for the purpose of this ability and then it says ah something in any weapon with rapid fire and then we've got like the next big blurb which is okay it says includes the word bolt e.g bolt gun bolt rifle storm bolter combi bolter hurricane bolter infer infernal bolt gun this also applies when firing the bolt gun profile of combi weapons including um including the bolt weapon profile of relics such as uh, blood song the lion's wrath and when firing relics that replace rapid fire bolt weapons so long as the relic is also a rapid fire weapon eg primax wrath fury of uh, uh, demos and um, the gauntlets of ultramar and the talon of horus are also rapid fire bolt weapons talon of horus now a little subtle drop there because guess who's coming soon Abaddon, of course, as the Guardian Spear used by Death Watch Watchmasters as well. So that is all the text that we have. So what GW is basically doing, um, I see this as a big buff to Space Marines. I definitely, definitely think that the bolt guns when it comes to space marines are quite lackluster at the moment i think i think they're basically meh and um, two of my friends were playing the other day and they were both playing space marines against each other and it was such just a boring boring game it, it just it felt so stale because the bolters they were shooting at each other it, it felt like they were doing no damage to each other and even when i play other like when i play my primaris force and i play other armies i always feel like the bolters don't really feel like bolters like they actually do in the law i know you have to have law and gameplay issues when it comes to tabletop you know you have to have balance but i've i've, I've always said bolters don't really feel that powerful on tabletop now as someone pointed out to me this is um a quite a big buff like i'm i'm probably playing it down a bit but this is quite a big buff because when you think of stuff like storm ravens ironclad dreadnoughts of course the centurions land land raider crusaders um with all their hurricane bolters you just imagine all the daca you can do now with uh, all these bolters double basically just double firing so you can put a lot of fire down on your target we're basically orcs now we are bringing all the daca again i don't know if this is going to be fully implemented into the rules at the moment it's only a beta rule so i'm sure that gw are going to gather the feedback about this i'm sure there's going to be some salty eldar players or xenos players which are going to be ah oh, space marines are powerful how dare they be powerful for a limited time how dare they so um it's going to be interesting to see the feedback from the community personally from me 
I really think this is a great way to improve Space Marines. I, I, I'm still in the camp that they need more improvements in certain areas, but this is a really, really good start by GW. One of the big things that massively stick out to me with this, and it's it's because I've got a, like an, an unbuilt army of these guys, is Grey Knights. I think this is a really big improvement for the Grey Knights, because Grey Knights haven't had the best of luck when it comes to edition. They haven't really been up there when it comes to competitive armies and stuff like that. But I, I really do think this bolt gun um, um, new rule will definitely improve them because if you didn't know, they all carry uh, their bolt guns and stuff on their arms and you know all that kind of all that kind of funky stuff. So I definitely think that Grey Knights um, are vastly improved by this, and I actually look forward now to actually building a Grey Knight force and uh, purging with them because they they actually now could be kind of useful in the shooting phase. Let me know what you think about this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it's underpowered? How would you improve Space Marines, Bolters, everything like that? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hope I passed on some information. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. It's only Monday. It's only Monday when I'm making this video, so we've still got the rest of the week to come. Um, I definitely think this is um, in line with the new Chaos stuff because I'm sure Chaos are going to be absolutely nasty when they get their release. When I say Chaos, I mean basically Black Legion, Abaddon, all that kind of stuff uh, because it's coming. It's co I can feel it, brothers. I can feel it in my testes. It's definitely, definitely coming and it's going to be absolutely heretically glorious, but I I will purge anyone who takes up with Abaddon. So fear me. So uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all very, very soon. See you now and bye-bye.